Hello, my name is Sean B. Martin, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Sims 3. I've just stumbled upon my real-life wife in the game, and I'm meeting her. <laughs> she thinks I'm okay, which is uh, probably the best I can hope for right now. Our goal. Okay, positive interaction. We're off to a good start. Um, will you marry me? Should I, should I follow it up with that question? I'm asking her about her career to see if I can... You know, maybe she's a gold digger. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of concerned that she might, she might have ulterior motives. She is a workaholic. I've learned. Why was that a negative interaction? Why are we sad? Can I make her feel better? Oh, she's unemployed. Oh, maybe that's why it was a negative interaction. I'm sorry. I'll apologize. Alicia thinks Sean is being. Awkward! Oh, great. Well, this is the story of my real life, so... We know it all turned out okay in the end, right? Also, apparently I am being hunted by a vampire right now. That is kind of a problem. Hey, and for those of you, uh, a couple people figured it out. I didn't figure it out until someone told me. The reason I was making money was because I am a celebrity and people were taking pictures of me, etc. Giving me gifts. Like, that's just what happens when I go out and about. Like, suddenly I'll earn $30,000 for no reason, I guess. Well, now she thinks I'm okay. I think I'm gonna end on that, because that's not awkward. Sorry, wait. Wait, say goodbye. Say goodbye to Alicia Pez. Please. Turn around. Turn around. Walk over there. Walk over there. Walk. <laughs> It's gonna take him an hour to walk over there. Okay, say goodbye, and go home. It is four in the morning. It's four in the morning. Go home. I think I might die before I get home. Oh, I keep forgetting about my nice new house. It, ah, oh, it's so nice. He wants to prepare pancakes? Really? That's what you're in the mood for right now? Okay. I didn't tell him to do that, and he just decided. Also, where's my butler, and why is she not, like, cleaning or anything? I've got clothes all over the place. My bed isn't made. Also, I'm about to piss my pants. I'm pretty sure that's about to happen. Oh, boy. It's gonna be a weird day for Sean V. Martin. Who's here? Someone here? Is it my butler? No, just random traffic driving by. Okay. Okay, well, now he's fed. Is he gonna go to the bathroom? Oh, yay! <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to override his whatever he was doing. Okay, well, maybe the uh, butler will clean up my piss on the, the, the rug. Anyway, I'm gonna go sleep now and hopefully have a better day tonight because that's the way it's gonna work. Good night! I've spent all day in bed, and I'm still very confused about where my butler is. Why is she not around? Why is she not in the house? Why is she not... here? Why is she not cleaning? Why is she not... anywhere to be found? I'm just... Uh, what? what is the story here? What, what are you supposed to... what's supposed to happen with the butler? Hey, are you th throwing up over there? What's the matter? You're, you're upset because it's dirty? You're anxious to advance. It's been a long time since a promotion has been earned or a skill has been... You just got a promotion! I... that just happened! What? What is your problem, dude? Calm... calm down. Take some Prozac or something. Also, fire your butler because she's not even here. She's not even here. I don't know what to do. I don't know... I... I'm gonna fire her. I'm gonna get rid of her. And then rehire her? I don't... I... I don't know. Why? Why? Call the phone. Call. <laughs> Twelve hundred. Call. You must dismiss the butler in person to end the service. But I can't find the butler. Game. Where is the goddamn butler? Okay. Well, here's an idea. She's in my thing. My little list of people that I know. Maybe I can invite her over to do her job. Wow, <laughs> Mosa. I'm at work right now, and I don't know when I'll be done. Your job is here. That's why I'm paying you. 
I don't understand this at all. I clearly don't understand this. Must be time to drum. Beat out some of my frustrations. I guess it's time to head out on the town again. Do some sightseeing. Show my face, get some photos taken. How about you change? There we go. And uh, let's head down to the town center. Oh, oh. Yeah, I know it's stinky, but your fucking butler decided that she's got a job somewhere else. I don't. Ah! Rage. All right, I'm gonna see if I can play chess with Alicia Pez. Hi. Sure enough, she is here, hanging out. Oh boy. I don't know that I've ever even played chess with my wife in real life, so... This might be the first time this has ever happened, real or imagined. We just finished the first game, uh, it was not clear who won. No one seemed very happy or upset, so maybe... Maybe we... What's, uh, what is a stalemate? Yeah, there we go. Maybe a stalemate happened. It was just a king and a king. Also, are we being photographed, or is that someone else? Because it could be like the artist. She could be photographed with me and it would be like, who's that girl? And then she could get famous with me. And we could be, oh, she's really tired. So we should probably, oh, okay. She's like really tired. We should stop. I don't want to annoy my wife. She wants to go to bed. Yeah, it's like 2.30 in the morning. She would have been in bed like three hours ago. <laughs> hey oh. Well, good morning, Sean. It is time to invite your butler over and fire her ass. Hire a maid like I should have in the first place. What is the point? What is the point of having a butler who doesn't actually come to your house ever? Oh, I'm getting bills in the mail. Awesome. Just another thing. Oh, make sure you stand in the corner of your bedroom and face the wall to call her. That's important. <laughs> Eat true, no. I'm at work right now. How do I fire her if she won't fucking come over here? All right, weekend's over, time to head to work and get back to whatever I'm doing. Assistant directing, I guess. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm one of the, one of these days I will fire my butler. I should just hire a maid, like, today. Like, right now. Today at work, I am researching a competing film, which, I don't know, that sounds like cheating to me. That sounds like espionage. Like, am I allowed to do that? Is that... Go inside. Oh, am I just watching another film? Because that's okay. That's different. I thought I was going to go, like, spy on their filming or something. Yep, the town is buzzing about a new film that may be considered one of the best films of all time. Sean's task is to carefully review the film and see what the fuss is about. So we might find out right here that we shouldn't even bother finishing our film. <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. Hey, can I get money? Is there money? Collect money, $3,000. I'll do that after the film. <laughs> I'll go watch a movie, pick up my 3,000 bucks, and then head <laughs> back to work. I hope that movie was good. It was like three hours long. Actually, I think it was three and a half hours long. That's insane. What am I watching? The Last Emperor? That movie's three and a half hours long, right? Maybe. I don't know. Lawrence of Arabia? <laughs> there are some long movies out there. Am I done yet? Mmm. Done. Done. Done now. Done now. There we go. Sweet! I got $240 for that? Sure, why not? Now, collect your money. Sean V. Martin is late for work. I'm not late for work. I was doing work. Isn't... Isn't that what I was doing? Or... Am I in trouble now because I was... I'm collecting my money when I should be at work? <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Uh, get back to the studio, Sean. Uh, which is somewhere... Somewhere... Over... Where did I put the studio, guys? Go... Go to work. Go... Missing work. Okay, well... well how, wait, how do I... Get back... There I am. Go back to work. Ah! Arrgh! Work! Go! That can't count as missing work. I got to work and it was like, hey, go see this movie. So I went and saw the movie. 
And my day is about to be over in three, two, one, up. Oh, now work is over. So now go home. Am I gonna get in trouble for that? Cause that was totally not my fault. All right, let's try this for what? The third time? I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna say, get your ass over here. I need to fire you. 173 bucks? Sure to Lash, Lurblezord. I'm at work right now. What? I'm just gonna say there should totally be a skip night function. Like it's fine that if the game wants something to happen to you overnight, like a burglar enters your 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 land or whatever, that it would stop and just be like, okay, well now it is three in the morning and here's a burglar, but. Why do you have to sit here and watch your sim sleep for several minutes? I mean, I know that if I had more than one sim, there's a potential that I could be doing something during this time. But if all the sims in the household are asleep, why can you not just skip the night like Minecraft? Oh my god, did I just ask for this game to be more like Minecraft? I sh- Whoa. First time for everything. First thing to do this morning? Call Allison. Can I fire you today, Allison? You non-existent person, you. Ooh, what do I want to do? Visit the graveyard. What? Will your sim go at night? Oh my god. I kind of want to do that. Well, now I definitely have a goal for next episode. <laughs> hey, let's fire Allison. Come on. This is the day. This is the day. What does she work 24 hours a day? I don't... Ah!